What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with some fantastic news. The wait is over. The Lion has returned. Jamal Charlo is back on December, wait, was it? December 9th on the undercard of Benavidez versus Andre, the co-man event. This is dope. As you guys can see, this is Jose Benavidez Sr.'s verified Instagram account. He says Jamal, Jamal Charlo will return to the ring against Jose Benavidez Jr. This fight will be a co-main event under Benavidez versus Andre Carr. Fire! Alright, bro. So look, man, I knew I know what they do. I knew because they put that card on pay-per-view. I knew they were gonna go ahead and try to um I knew they were gonna go ahead and spice things up and make the undercard just as just as terrific or just as good or whatnot to build up the uh, uh the, the pay-per-view event. Uh, the pay-per-view event. Actually, I'm sorry, not December 9th. What it what I um and I said December 9th, but I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I think November 24th. I uh the last video I did, I think they established the uh, the fight to be for November 24th. But listen, I'm super excited about this, you guys. Um, the, the fact that Jamal Charlo is returning, I don't at this point because he's been gone from the ring so long. I didn't care about who he was returning against. I just, you know, I just knew that I just cared about him return, uh, returning back to the ring or whatnot. All right, now. Um, as you guys know on my channel, I'm, I'm very cool with the Benavidez family. Uh, I've, I've chopped it up with uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. multiple times, um, uh, Jose Sr. multiple times, David Benavidez multiple times. Very cool family and whatnot, right? So um, I think that, but <laughs> what the irony in this is, who would have ever thought, right? <laughs> Listen, peep this out. If you would have, if, if somebody would have just gave you a paper that said this year, 2023, you're going to get Canelo versus Charlo and you're going to get Benavidez uh, Jr. versus Charlo. I think everybody would insinuate that Benavidez Jr. would have been the one fighting Jamel Charlo and Jamal Charlo would have been the one fighting Canelo Alvarez. But it's kind of <laughs> kind of did a swap out reverse, you know, um, Jamal Charlo will be fighting Jose Benavidez Jr. Now, this is, I, I'm excited about this matchup because for one, Jose Benavidez Jr. is going to talk some mash, he's going to talk some mash stuff. Like, he's, he's definitely going to, um, he's definitely going to, to, to bring, bring some fire and some heat, uh, in the buildup for this fight because Benavidez Jr. is just built like that. He's just like that. He's just going, he's going, he's going to talk stuff or whatnot. If you guys remember his infamous matchup with Terrence Crawford, how that buildup was, and it's already been um, a little spewed and a little beef between Charlo and the Benavidez uh, family and whatnot. Now, though, I don't know if you guys seen it, but uh, David Benavidez and Jamal Charlo was able to squash their issues. I can't remember what fight it was, but they met up, they shook up, and, you know, they talked about the stuff, you know, and all that type of stuff. And so they were able to at least be in the same, uh, because, you know, if you guys don't remember, the, the it was uh, during the Errol Spence versus um, Ugas fight, uh, Charlo had a run-in with Benavidez and Benavidez Sr. or whatnot, and, and it was just, it kind of got just a little bit ugly. Nothing, nothing big happened, but just a little ugly. Uh, so they were able to squash their issues and um, or whatnot. But Junior, Jose Benavidez Jr. has always been, you know, vocal about like, hey, bro, them dudes run their mouth. Um, J J Jamal Charlo could fight uh, David Benavidez and I'll take on Jamel Charlo and all that but it looks like he is getting Charlo so he is getting what he wants All right, now Jose Benavidez Jr. has just fought I want to say in August my, I think like around August 12th I think it was August 12th um, and you know it, the fight wasn't televised or whatnot, but he he did fight I want to say yeah he fought at 160 he fought in the middleweight division or whatnot um and but before that he fought Danny Garcia at 154 or whatever. So um, and he, he's kind of been inactive as well. You know, he after his fight with Terrence Crawford, I think he had like a three year layoff or whatnot, and uh, was able to, to sign with the PBC, and now is you know getting his his feet back wet or whatnot. So um, so it, it it looks it looks as though like you know you know he, he's you know fighting Jamal Charlo on the undercard of. Uh, Andre versus um versus Benavidez and that I love I love it bro I really do um it's good to see Jamal Charlo just coming back in general I think this is what he needs he had to get himself in order Jamal Charlo actually recently just had an interview where because if you guys don't know he's been he's uh been working with 
um, Roy Jones. But a lot of people been, has been confused about whether Roy Jones is his main trainer or not. Roy Jones is not. He did not replace uh, Ronnie Shields or whatnot. He said that Ronnie, he and Ronnie talk. Roy Jones and Ronnie talk. Ronnie told Jamal, hey, go ahead and fly out there. Get yourself, get your mind clear. And Ronnie is, um, he talks to Ronnie every day. He said for this camp, Ronnie will be out there um, with, with the likes of Roy Jones. He said Roy Jones and, well, Ronnie Shield will be his main, his head trainer. But Roy Jones will be in his corner as well. And so, um, and that, and that's, that's, that's definitely a good thing, bro. Um, I, 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 I like what I'm hearing because I didn't, I didn't really, I didn't really, I don't know if I was a hundred percent sure on how I felt about, um, him replacing Ronnie Shields for Roy Jones. But the fact that Roy, he, he stated clearly in the interview that, um, Roy Jones and, 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 and Ronnie Shields will be working together to work with Jamal Charlo. I mean, that's just a great thing. So it looks, looks, everything looks to be coming up. Now Jamal Charlo has to get over, you know, this hump with Jose Benavidez Jr. Um, Jamal Charlo, obviously, obviously Jose Benavidez was a hot commodity coming up. Uh, he was actually, a lot of people don't know, Jose Benavidez Jr. was actually the favorite of the two brothers to uh, to, to, to burst onto the boxing scene. Um, but Jose, you know, he's just in the streets a lot. He got shot, and his career kind of just wasn't wasn't on track, especially after his loss to Terrence Crawford. I guess he had some issues with uh, Bob Arum at top rank, um, which kept him on the shelf for three years, all right? Now... With him having issues, you know, he, he came back. I remember I was at his fight when he, when he made his comeback, and he, he had a draw. He didn't look too good or whatnot. But um, with he with it, with, uh, with with Jamal Charlo and Jamal Charlo, obviously we haven't seen him in a while. But Jamal Charlo has a very very good stiff jab or whatnot, right? Now I'll say that to say with Jose Benavidez having issues with his leg or whatnot. That's going to be very hard. To, and I think it's his front leg at that. It might no, I think it's his back leg. It might be his back leg. I think I don't. His left leg, not left leg, his right leg it might be his right leg. But anyways, that's gonna be very hard to uh, to work uh, work work towards. You know, overcoming somebody that has a very good jab the way that Jamal Charlo does. That's gonna be hard, man, because uh, Jamal Charlo again, he has a, a, a very strong jab that that sets up his punches very well or whatnot. All right, but. One thing that I do want to talk about, you know, on a little sidebar is Jamal Charlo's relationship with Jamel. Uh, Jamal Charlo, like I said, he recently did an interview and he spoke on Jamel as well. And I got, I want you to hear what he had to say about Jamel. And, um, and then we'll, we'll touch on that a little bit as well. But I've been doing it for this long and all of a sudden now Canelo want to fight. So I was just like, you know, this motivates me to get myself back together. And that's what I'm doing. So I got myself back together and uh, let my brother have his outings with Canelo and uh, I pray for him and I wish him the best and uh, him and his family and everything sometimes you gotta part ways for somebody to get stronger and then once he finally realized where I'm at and he see how strong I am you know we'll link up we'll connect like we always did but at this at this time I could be a distraction to my brother and I don't want to be like those guys that was around me that didn't know me for real for real that thought they knew me because we were friends and buddies and I'm taking care of all the tabs now they not around. I don't want that to be. I don't want to be that type of person to my brother. I want him to stay focused. I want him to train hard as he can. Don't worry about what I got going on. I'll be there for you. You know I'm there for you. And uh, fight, fight your hardest. You know that that type of mindset that that Jamal Charlo has comes with maturity or whatnot. Sometimes, believe it or not, listen. Regardless of what you know. You got to do what's best for your mental health, right? And sometimes the, the closest people to you can be the ones that, that, that you know, put you through the most issues or uh, wears on your mental health the most. It's toxic family members and all that type of stuff. Sometimes you have to cut off family members, bro. And he, I feel like Jamal Charlo is at a point where he, he's, you know, he feels like, hey, listen, I don't want to be a distraction to Jamel. I love Jamel. Jamel knows I'm here for him. Um, but so right now, it's just best that we don't speak. Jamel recently said that in the interview as well. Uh, right now, it's just best that the two don't speak or whatnot. So, you know, listen, I, I hope, I hope that, and pray that they can come into terms or whatnot. But I do like the mindset that he has. Like, hey, he has to separate himself from, from everything and everybody. He has to figure out who should be around him and who should not be around him. So, with that being said, I hope that Jamel, I'm sorry, I hope that Jamal, well, Jamel too, I hope that he does good as well. But I hope that Jamal Charlo um, can get his head cleared, um, get, you know, 
go into this fight with a clear head. You know, again, he, he fixed everything. It, it seems like him and his wife um, are on good terms. She actually commented on one of my videos to justify that as well. Um, but they, they seem to be on good terms. And again, you know the saying, happy wife equals a happy life. So I'm proud of Jamal Charlo, man. Um, I definitely wish him the best in this and his comeback. Um, and, 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 you know, just, you know, I, just, I want nothing but success for the brother, bro. Because at the end of the day, man, it's, it's hard enough being a black man in America in itself, you know. And so with, with, with mental health issues and everything that he goes through or, or everything that he went through. And, you know, we have to be honest, a lot of it he might have put on himself. But that doesn't mean that, you know, we can't wish him the best, man. So hopefully everything is, um, is intact. I think that this fight makes for an entertaining matchup. I don't think we've ever seen Jamal Charlo in a boring fight. Uh, Jose Benavidez versus... Um, Versus Danny uh, Danny Garcia, that that never really was an intriguing matchup to me. I, I never really just found that to be, excuse me, I never really just found out that, that to be like a top notch, uh, top notch boxing event. I mean, I said boxing, or top notch event or whatnot. But you know, whatever, you know, it is what it, it is what it is. But I think that these two coming together, I think it's gonna be a lot of trash talk, at least from the Jose Benavidez side. Um, uh, but I think that um, it's going to make for an exploding fight. I feel like Jamal Charlo uh, should take this maybe by, I don't know, sixth, seventh round uh, TKO. But we'll see. We, it just all depends on how Jamal, Jamal Charlo is and where he is mentally. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Who are you picking in this fight? But what do I know?